All right, turn George's microphone on, please. You go, otherwise, you're going to miss the most intimate part of this. Ladies and gentlemen, put it, it in is the with, monitor, too. Yeah, put it in the monitor, too. I mean, get George ready for action. This is George Duke's moment. Can you hear yourself, George? No. Can't hear himself yet. I can hear him in my monitor. He can't hear himself in his monitor. Keep whistling, George. It'll come out one of these days. Anytime you can hear yourself, just let me know, George. Hello. 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 A little bit more, Brian. Give him a little bit more. I'm telling you, this is going to be really something. If George Duke ever gets into the monitor system, it's all over, folks. Hey, he's ready, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure you're aware that recently there have been a rash, if not an epidemic, of flying saucer sightings. I'm sure that each of you, each in his own words, each in his own way, has had some sort of mystical theory about the origin uh, or the perhaps the potential existence of life on other worlds, any place outside of Austin, Texas. Well, let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, it is possible, it is possible for life forms to exist outside of Texas. And that's what this song is about. Incredible as it may seem, 40,000 years ago, there has been evidence uncovered to indicate that the Peruvian Air Force knew something we didn't know. And that's why they carved those notches on the top of the plains of Nazca. Right up there on top of the Andes, ladies and gentlemen, those funny little notches on the top of the mountain that are known to the world as the Inca Roads. And here's George Duke to tell you all about it. Hey. I'm 
Thank you.